since this morning's interest rate decision of a further cut, bringing interest rates to minus 0.35 for Sweden, the Swedish corona has rapidly depreciated against the euro. But was this Riksbank's intention? Joining me to discuss is Tor Borg from SBAB Bank. So Tor, Riksbank has cut rates further today to minus 0.35%. The bank also expanded its bond buying purchase by 45 billion corona. Do you expect this to be the last interest rate cut for Riksbank? And what were the main factors for Riksbank cutting rates? You could actually never know if the last cut is the last. But uh, the Riksbank has put focus on, uh, they're looking very closely at actual inflation development. They're looking closely at expected inflation and they're looking very closely at the, uh, the value of the krona and uh, the value of the krona I think ha has been uh, one of the main causes uh, uh, behind their, their cut today the krona has depreciated a bit uh, after, after the cut and I think that uh, the Riksbank Bank is trying to send a message to the market that they won't accept the stronger krona and I think this is slowly sinking into the market as well so I think uh, we won't see a stronger krona in the short term, uh, possibly even uh, a little more weakness. Sweden's currency, along with the Norwegian and the Danish corona, risks becoming safe havens for investors after Greece insurgency. Is this a short-term trend or do you believe the currency will continue being seen as safe havens in the long term? I think that this, uh, this, is, this is one, one of the, the, the factors behind the cut today. But uh, I think there, there will be some kind of safe haven uh, in investors' mind when it comes to the, the Scandinavian currencies, because uh, the countries they, they, they have very strong economies, at least compared to our, other Europe. We have very strong trade balances. Uh, we have healthy public finances, and so on and so on. Uh, so there will be, to some degree, they will be seen as, as safe havens. But then they are also small currencies. They tend to the markets tend to be illiquid when there's stress in the markets. So if if the Greece uncertainty becomes very very <laughs> uncertain, then, then maybe the, these currencies will, will lose out because they are so small. Manufacturing PMI in Sweden decreased to 52.80 in June. Manufacturing PMI in Norway and Finland also decreased in June. Does negative PMI in Sweden affect your prediction of Sweden's new order figures, which will be released out later in the week? I think uh, when it comes to the PMI, the, uh, the June outcome was somewhat of a natural rebound from a very high outcome in May. But uh, if you're looking at manufacturing in Sweden, uh, production has been lagging behind uh, other parts of the economy and this has been going on for for years and uh, I think it has a lot to do with that manufacturing is uh, it's almost all about ex exports and we have had a uh, very weak uh, export demand from from, uh, from Europe and so uh, but what, what we can see is that uh, demand is uh, going a slightly bit better so, so, so my my forecasts of, of uh, uh, manufacturing orders and manufacturing productions would be that uh, they're on 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 the rise. Actually, you mentioned Sweden's decline in exports. There, the rate cut for Sweden today limits any success in the corona strengthening against the euro. With this in mind, is Sweden's export industry set to strengthen? One of the goals with the Riksbank's interest rate cuts is to get a weaker krona and to get uh, some imported inflation. So this, this will help uh, get, uh, get us the inflation up to 2%. And of course, uh, a weaker krona will uh, help Sweden's export industry. And finally, the euro Swedish krona has spiked after the rate decision this morning. Was this spike expected? I would say given the unexpected rate cut, the, the spike uh, was expected. But, but I, I also think that uh, the Riksbank is trying to send a clear message to the market that they are not accepting a weaker krona. Well, Tor, thank you for speaking to us today. For all further updates, keep clicking back to the Dukoscopy website. Goodbye for now.